okay we'll continue our tutorial question uh, tutorial chapter 2 question number 5 so given to us a 3 microfarad capacitor is fully charged of 36 microcoulomb after connected to a battery calculate energy stored in the capacitor so soalan minta kita cari energy stored in the capacitor as we know given to us in the question we have the value of capacitor and also the value of the fully charged Q0 dekat sini so kita ada dua nilai ni so soalan minta energy stored as we know the equation for energy kita ada tiga equation since given to us the value of C and Q I'm going to use the equation related to C and Q sahaja which is half Q square over C so apa yang tinggal dekat sini adalah hanya masukkan nilai sahaja you have your energy such as 1 over 2 multiply with Q square your value of the charge 36 micro square divided by the value of your capacitor which is 3 micro farad so tekan-tekan calculator you will get your answer such as 2.16 times 10 to the power negative 4 joule then next dia cakap Calculate energy stored if the capacitor had been connected to a 6 volt battery. So sekarang dia bagi nilai V dan dia cakap that particular capacitor is connected to 6 volt battery. So nilai kapasitor kita masih sama. C is 3 microfarad and given to us now the value of V. So kita tak tahu for this particular capacitor when you connect to 6 volt battery adakah charge kita masih 36 microfarad. So we do not know. So, apa yang kita yakin dekat sini adalah you connect across the same capacitor. So, capacitor dengan value of battery sahaja kita tahu. So, for the second question here, you're going to find your energy using the equation that is related to your C and V. So, kita ada U is equals to half CV square. So, 1 over 2, the value of C is 3 micro farad multiply with V 6 volt square. And then tekan-tekan calculator, you will end up with your answer such as 5.4 times 10 to the power negative 5 joule. Okay, and then next question dia cakap, A parallel plate capacitor has 2 cm square plates. Maksudnya, this is the area of the plate that are separated by 5 mm with Air. So this is the separation of the plate. So this time, our plate is being filled with air. So ini parallel plate. Dekat tengah-tengah sini apa yang kita ada adalah it has been filled with air. So kalau air, the epsilon not here, permittivity of uh, free space adalah 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12. If a 12 volt battery is connected to this capacitor, calculate the energy stored. So, given to us the value of the battery now, then the question asks to find U masih. So, U is equals to, since soalan bagi V, I'm going to use the equation that relates to V lah. Tapi berdasarkan informasi-informasi lain, berdasarkan A dan juga D yang diberi, I can find my C actually, the value of my capacitance where C naught is equals to epsilon naught A over D. Therefore, I'm going to use the equation of U that relates to C and also V which is half CV square. Okay, so kita cari C dulu. What I'm going to do adalah saya nak substitute terus dalam equation of U dekat sini. Tempat C ni dia akan jadi epsilon naught A over D V square. So, I'm going to substitute the values 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12 multiply with the area here so the area given as 2 cm square so it becomes 2 times 10 to the power negative 4 negative 4 sebab senti kamu itu di square kan so your prefix has the square so dia menjadi negative 4 and then your d here is 5 mm so 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 so the next one is your v the can calculator you will get the value of your u such as 2.55 times 10 to the power negative 11 joule 